the next uh, the next loop we will look at is a while loop and a while loop means well something is true and you've probably seen these you might have seen these in other languages too so uh, we'll use a, a counter as well and then you just say uh, well counter is less than five and you can see that in rest uh, same as uh, with if you don't have uh, you don't need brackets here uh, by the way if uh, if you do put brackets it'll still work but uh, rest will just tell you that uh, that you don't need to do that I'll show you that in a second so then we will go counter plus equals one and then print uh, the counter is now this and uh, let's uh, let's put brackets around here and see if it uh, see what it tells us there you go unnecessary parentheses around while condition help remove these parentheses so it's not going to uh, make you generate an error but it's going to tell you hey you didn't need to do that and there we go this is a regular while loop that uh, that does this until counter uh, is five uh, another probably the most common loop in rust is a uh, is a uh, for loop with a range so a for loop um, and you use like a, uh, a number like that from zero to five and uh, we actually saw these uh, a few videos ago because I had an example with them but uh, now we'll take a closer look so here is uh, let's see so they kind of look like this um, you don't always need to use a range um, you can uh, you can also use what is known as an iterator like a uh, so you have a like a, a vector of, uh, of strings and you want to print them all out then you can uh, say like for um, for string in vector or something like that but we'll start out with these and um, so the number is and then we'll just uh, print that out and then there is this which is the this is the exclusive range so that is uh, 0 1 2 0, 1 and 2 and this is the inclusive range which includes the last number 0 1 2 3 like that and we'll do the same thing and I did not write number there we go and of course it can be any anything you want you can call it n you can call it number but we're calling it number There you go, the number is blah, blah, blah. And uh, another thing uh, that you see a lot is, uh, let's say you just want to, you know, do something three times. And uh, so you, let's say, you know, in uh, zero, two, three, and we're actually not using this number. And we'll say, uh, I like to print stuff, print stuff. And Rust will give us a hint here. <clears throat> Going to comment that out. And you can see there it says unused variable number, and that's a good point. And it says uh, if this is intentional, prefix it with an underscore uh, like this number. And this is true. We can do that. And this is the way uh, in Rust you indicate that. Uh, you're not using this yet, but uh, if you're not going to use it at all, then just use an underscore. And then it'll just do it, uh, you know, zero, one, two. So it'll do it uh, three times. So uh, the difference between, uh, I just want to show you this means, I'm never going to use this. And then if you write like, uh, underscore and then a variable name this means uh, I'm probably going, going to use it later please be quiet because every time you uh, you have a variable that you haven't used yet then rest will tell you hey you didn't use this you didn't use that 
and sometimes you have like 20, 20 variables that it'll tell you about and you uh, and you don't want to see those warnings anymore. So you uh, you put these little underscores in front of their names and take them off later when you use them.